I'm back, paisanos. <laughs> and we got a lot of news to go over. In fact, so much news that this is probably going to be my longest video. But before that, I would like to go over the comments I had on vacation. I want to thank everyone for sticking with the channel through vacation. And I'm going to quickly open up the comments I have. And I'm going to read them out and do a little uh, comment on the comments. So comment one says, you're supposed to respect opinions, but this is definitely wrong. I can feel that one. That was on my Gen 2 Pokemon tier list. Yeah. I, I it, you know, I made that one in a little bit of a rush. I was trying to get through. That one's not as good as my Pokemon Gen 1 tier list, but I, I'm going to stand by it. Thank you, funny man. That was his name. Random guy says bailiff A tier FR. I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, uh, your opinion, I guess. <laughs> For alligator and bottom tier, immediately shit. Uh, Irk one two fifteen. I just don't like For alligator because I always chose the fire starters in my playthroughs and my cousin would always choose water and I would always get pissed. So I always hated the water starters. Charity Lumpa says, hi, hello. Change in a malator. Mal I butchered your name, I'm sorry. Cool. Cool, dude. I like being cool. Datu says, wow, this sucks. Thanks for your feedback. I feel very special now. It's, boy. So glad you, you love the video. <laughs> Justin PV3XQ is actually the comment of the day. He said, hell yeah. First like and first comment. Keep up the good work, bro. This was fun to watch. Should have caught an Nidoran for double kick. I'm glad this was fun to watch. I will keep up the good work. I had planned to do this as uh, a side job. Uh, and I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to get to streaming. And I'm not getting a Nidoran for double kick until I do the Nidoran run, which will probably be a double feature. Um, because it's, a, it's supposed to be a solo run. Those... Those Pokemon challenges are supposed to be a solo run. It's just that if a Pokemon shows up and I'm too lazy to go back because if my solo run Pokemon can beat it and I'm just too lazy and I, I just let the HM like finish it, the HM slave finish it off. But it's a... Yeah, y y you get it. But no, I, I, I don't think I will be catching a Nidoran for double kick. Uh, N Neo1156 says, so he can still get, get it. He can still get it. Peach butt emoji. Agreed. This was on the Keanu Reeves video. Agreed. He definitely can still get it. Now, let's get to the news. I got a lot of news. First, God of War Ragnarok DLC is incoming. Good. Uh, God of War Ragnarok wasn't my f uh, favorite game. Thought it was just fine. I, you know, it wasn't. I, I didn't really think it was the best. But for those who like it, enjoyed the DLC. Starfield leaker booked a wait booked on a felony charge, alleged to try to sell stolen copies. Yeah, uh, I saw this online. It was about up to $2,500 for the, uh, for the game. Well, the game's out now, so this was out a little bit ago, but the 29-year-old got a felon. I don't think, uh, I, it probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> Immortals of Evum pushes Unreal Engine 5 hard. The image quality suffers. 
Uh, 60 FPS? Doubt. I, I really didn't like this game. Uh, and I will never like it. <laughs> because anything by EA is an automatic, uh, crapshoot in my book. Around, wait, what? The base resolution comes in around 678. On the Series S? Wow. Yeah, 720p, 4K. Yeah, 4K. Wow, that's bad. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, they show you pictures here. Oh, yeah, the Series S really looks... Not good. Wow. Okay. PS5 runs at 50 here. 56, that's probably the Xbox One. Uh, I mean, Series X. Or is this the Series X? Oh, no, no, no. This is Series X and this is the S. This doesn't look very good. For sure, this the quality difference. Oh, it says in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I was right before I even do that. 60, 60. Eh. Could have been worse. Exclusive Legion Go is priced at 800 euros. Uh, with 8.8 QHD screen plus. So it's going to be 2K. Slightly above 2K. Ew, gross. Ew. Then... I, I hate that screen resolution. Uh, still would just buy the ROG Ally. <laughs> the ROG Ally runs at 1080p, and... Did, does it say... Oh, 144 hertz VRR. Ooh, 144 versus 120. Wait! Oh, boy, that's a hard one. Probably runs better, has detachable Joy-Cons. Maybe Lenovo is better. Maybe. Uh, probably is better. Details on the first Starfield Early Access patch. Well, the first patch has come out, but I did wanted to talk about these because... Most of them were felt a little odd. Like, they went into rare issues and issues that weren't very common. Like, companions could float. Uh, improve suspending and resuming the game. Perform just various performance. Like, these were very... I don't know. The, these are the only ones I really care about. Because having a quest not work sucks. Visual doesn't really matter. Gameplay. Someone could get pissed about it, but whatever. This. The game. I, look, on the, on the Series X, the game runs really good. Uh, about. I had a stutter in Atlantis, I think. But it runs fine. As for PC. All I can use is other people's uh, metrics, and I, it looked fine to me. I I, see, I hear it doesn't. It's not a stable 60, especially if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Apparently, Starfield runs quite bad. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, keep a uh, keep a, an eye out because the game is just meant for AMD's. So unfortunate, though. Okay. The U.S. video game industry gets back to growth, improved hardware supply, new releases. Yeah, it's going back up. And it's going back up without all the microtransactions and garbage that has lately uh, been fulfilling the year. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. The only issue is games shouldn't be $70. Unfortunately, a lot of games are... Uh, I, I want to get into something a little bit later, but yeah. Microsoft removed the $1 Game Pass trial right before Starfield release. Scummy. Scummy. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty dick move. 
Xbox. Don't don't do that. Uh, if I, if you bought an Xbox One or an Xbox uh, Series something, my Xbox One came with a three month Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Uh, when I bought it, not the Series X, my Xbox One. So three months out of a twelve month year. And it costs two hundred and forty dollars for Game Pass for a whole year, and an Xbox One was two hundred dollars. I got a brand new for one hundred and fifty while I was on sale. So really, what what, what is one third of two forty? Let me just quickly uh, let me just quickly two forty divided by uh, a fourth sixty. Yeah, so you you take sixty bucks out of one hundred and fifty, you leave ninety. It's, you basic you get a console for ninety dollars that way. If you if you're gonna pay for Game Pass anyway, and then you could resell that console for probably more. <laughs> um, analog pocket, glow in the dark, highly available in highly limited quantities, two fifty. I'm not excited. I won't buy one, but cool, I guess. Former Sony executive joins Xbox leave in Japanese partnership operations. Yeah. She was vice president of the mobile business. I think they pulled her over because they just bought all of the games from Activision Blizzard, such as, like, uh, Candy Crush and stuff. So I definitely think that's the reason here. But still, very, very exciting. Have for that she's on board, still working in the industry. Uh, Super Mario Brother includes in-app purchases. I watched the, the direct. Now that direct will bring us fifteen minutes of game. Blah, blah, blah. The, the direct is over. Um, it didn't talk about DLC or any app purchases in the direct, but they are listed on the site. So if there is an app purchase, I'm gonna be absolutely pissed. Front Mission Two remake launches October fifth. Cool, thirty-five dollars and thirty-five U. EU, which are not equivalent. Ours is cheaper, but still, gotta say, uh, if you're excited about that, good. Sonic Superstar team doesn't think pixel art will be viable as an art style in 10 years. You, wrong. Pixel art is so... I don't know. Look, the problem I have, yes, Sonic... Uh, I don't think so. Sonic is a big name, but I think pixel art will definitely be viable for many years to come. Heck, I'm, I think I'm wrong. Maybe it could be for Sonic because the Final Fantasy pixel remasters came out and they were good and so is Bravely Default and stuff, but those were like JRPGs. As for Sonic, I don't hate this out art style, honestly. It's just like... Mm -hmm. Eh. If it was pixel, good. I, I think this is a bad take, though. I think pixel art should be viable and sometimes. Uh, PlayStation Plus game. Saints Row wasn't as bad as people said. Yes, it's it's pretty... It has that uber-woke uh, flair to it, but it wasn't a bad game at all. I think it was well overblown. This... This. This pisses me off. $80 now. It went from 60 to 80 a year. Now, if you got the other subscriptions, like 150 Not worth it at all. Not, I, like, I might just... I pay, I pay for this. I might just cancel my PlayStation subscription and start paying for... Um, Game Pass, Game Pass Essentials or whatever, because yeah, they closed Xbox Live Gold. I think you can't just buy that anymore. Now you get Game Pass, but 
Game Pass is, uh, subscription for 80 I think is what you can get it. it. Just the limited one, just the one Xbox only, not PC, which is what I would buy because I hate PC gaming. Uh, you know, I don't... I hate it in a way. I Like, I hate playing triple A's. I, I should, shouldn't say I hate PC gaming because I only hate triple A gaming on PC. So I might switch over because this is this is super dumb. That's super dumb. Nintendo announces Mario Red Edition Switch OLED out of October. Cool. Didn't they already do this for Mario Odyssey? I'm not buying one. Uh, I have a Switch OLED. This seems like a waste. It's not even that cool looking. <laughs> Look at the backside. Oh boy, it has Mario and some coins. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Red. I do like the color red. Uh, Wario64 announced that Rebirth is up for pre-order at Best Buy. Best Buy, uh, Amazon, and a few other things. The What I'm going to say about that is I would hold off. I wouldn't pre-order right away. Uh, definitely wait until there's the Deluxe Edition or... A limited edition because with Final Fantasy games there always is uh, literally every time there's always a limited deluxe edition so I would say wait especially because usually the deluxe is like 90 uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 PS5 reportedly requires a minimum of 98 gigabytes on your hard drive well <laughs> first off Pretty sure the PS5 has an SSD, not a hard drive. Um, in fact, I'm positive, so, you know, boy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I'm not too excited about this. <laughs> Look, I hated Miles Morales. I thought... Spider-Man 1 from Insomniac was good, but Miles Morales I thought was garbage. So, I'm debating. I, I, I pre-order all my games, and I haven't pre-ordered this. So, I'm debating if I want to play it at all. I may want to play it. I'm not sure yet. I know that's a hot take, because Spider-Man was pretty good, but... Okay. This this uh, this does make me a little sad here. Uh, excuse me for a moment. I have like a little itch on my nose. I hate when that happens. Anyway, you know, I got back from the beach. I got a little tan out of my nose. So, you know, burnt a little bit. Volition has probably created world class entertainment for the globe for thirty years. Driven by passion, always order to deliver surprise joy. In the past June, Embracer Group announced a restructuring program in the video game industry. Operation goals made a difficult decision to close Volition Effective immediately to help our team. We are working to provide job assistance in the smooth Volition games. Okay, so yeah, Saints Row, uh, the n reboot played horrible. It was terrible. Uh, it was super woke. But I liked it, okay? I can agree with people, but I liked it. But it does disappoint me that there won't be another... Maybe someone else will pick up Saints Row and make it. I'm more... Embracer Group has a lot of people now. Gax, Laura Croft, you know, plenty of IPs. But this is... Uh, this is disappointing. Because I think Volition had a chance to make good stuff. Starfield on the Series X has an 87. I think PC is at an 88. Uh, yeah, I think it is going to be pretty good. Uh, well, from what I played, it's pretty good. I probably will stream it eventually like from a new playthrough. But coming out on the 6th. Because I've only played um, 
on my friends because he has Game Pass. I don't support digital. I'll buy this physically and then I'll play from the beginning. But you, hundreds of rounds, some 90s, 85. But 87 is good and 88 is good. PlayStation Portable Remote Player launches September 15th. In pre-order. Now, in one of my videos, I said I was going to buy this and review it. Which might happen. It's maybe. The only issue I have, though, with that is... I stream now, which means I gotta play here at the console. Can't really play on on this, and I think there'll be a sale. I'm gonna take a backseat here and say I'm not buying it. Because I don't wanna give Sony my money for this piece of garbage software. I, 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 I Hardware, I should say. No Bluetooth. You can only use the headphones that they provide and you buy so it's another hundred bucks or 200 bucks you're paying 400 bucks to listen to this with uh man i really got an itch i think something bit me on my nose uh in the palm of your hand if you want headphones you're paying an extra 200 bucks i think so 400 bucks for this little device plus on top of paying 500 bucks that's 900 dollars you gave to sony uh, just to play this in the palm of your hands with headphones because you have to have a PS5. And I bet you can't replace those controllers. You would have to buy a new handheld device every time, even though those controllers probably have the same problems as the DualSense and would probably eventually go bad if you used it all the time. So uh, you know what I got to say? It is so much of a waste of money that I don't even want to buy. And I buy everything. Literally everything. That has to do with game. I don't even want to buy. I don't even want to buy to review it. That's how bad this. I believe this is. It's that terrible. And I would say. None of you should buy it. Let Sony. Um, take a loss on this one. They're, and plus they're raising. PlayStation Plus. And this, oh, not only that, this doesn't support uh, PlayStation Plus uh, Cloud or anything. This, this is a scam. Sony is trying to scam you with this portal. Don't fall for it, okay? Sony is on a high horse right now, and someone needs to kick them in the balls. And I, I hope Xbox does that, because this is... Yeah, this is bad. Borderlands 3 Ultimate coming to the Switch October 6th. Uh, eh. Fine. Whatever. I, you know, I'm not excited. I won't buy it. I doubt anyone really is excited for this release. It's been out for a pretty long time, and why would you get the Switch version? I only, if I, this is what I see. If you only have a Switch, fine. If you want it portable, fine. Other than that, why would you ever want a Switch version? Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition leaked by U.S. Ratings Board. Ooh. Ubisoft looks to set a release and updated version of Beyond Good and Evil. This is cool. I'm kind of a little, little excited. Um... Definitely think this will be a good um, release here. So, Well, that's all the news I had for the whole week. Uh, I'm just going to call this News Roundup. And it's, you know, it's been a good time. I'm glad to talk to you. Glad we had a little bit of updates. Uh, it's been really nice you know I'll, I'll talk about vacation more on my streams so if you're interested in that please go check out my stream uh, i stream from 7 to 12 every weeknight but today is uh today is sunday this will go up monday so tomorrow uh remember check me out it's monday as for today i will probably be streaming as well 
just as a little thing Twitch is doing as a subscription are on sale. So if you want to do give me a subscription when I get 50 followers, they're on sale right now. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's been Don Solomon here at the dawn of everything. And have a good one, everyone.